Welcome to Specific Love. This is the 13th edition of 10 Life Hacks with PVC. Let's begin. If you ever go out to mow your lawn very often, you, there's a chance you've probably had, well, your lawnmower hit a rock and it sling it and it just goes flying. Well, I hate that sound. Reason being, is because I was mowing the lawn one time and I had a rock hit the blade and it came back and hit me right in the shin. Oh, felt like I almost got shot. It hurt. So, here's a great way, if you happen to have some four inch PVC around, that you can make yourself some shin protectors. I took a piece of four inch PVC and I cut it directly in half. Then I took it and using some duct tape to make it look nice and, well, cool, I now have some paracord that I taped under it. You take it and you can put it around your shin, give it a nice tie, and there you go. Now this, if you get hit by a rock, heck, if you get hit by a pretty good sized rock, it's just gonna ricochet and it's not gonna hurt your shin. Today I'm trying to help a friend ship his dog across the country. To do that, the airlines is actually requiring some kind of a dog bowl to fit securely inside of the kennel here. Now, I come up with this idea. Actually, my wife came up with this idea, thanks to her. Now, this is an end cap for some PVC drainage pipe for four inch. This is not your standard PVC pipe. This is the drainage version. The, the standard's a little bit more round, also a lot thicker. And uh, this one actually fit on your standard pipe. This is the drainage pipe cap. Now, I drilled a couple holes in it so that we can take it and securely fashion it, just using some zip ties or cable ties, whatever you call them, around the front of the gate here. And as you see, I've got one done. And that way it's nice and secure. It'll also use, and once there's some weight in this, the support of the box, the, the frame that goes around here. And that way it'll sit in there securely and should be fine trying to send your dog across the country. If you've ever tried to direct some traffic, maybe at a school event or a church event, you'll find that sometimes it can be a little difficult for people to see you. So, I actually saw this in one of the street workers. This is a great way to make a simple sign. Now, you get your main stop or go or direction sign that you need, preferably in a, a pretty thin material. And then this is a piece of one inch PVC that I've just cut about a four inch groove all the way through down the lengthwise. You take your sign, slide it in, and there's an easy way to direct traffic. If you've ever been to, let's say, a sporting game or a school function or something where you're out trying to sell whether it's popcorn or cotton candy in some of these small plastic bags, well, you can carry a few of them around, but you're kind of limited to what you can just in your hands. You got a great hack for that. This is just a piece of one inch PVC and I flip it upside down and I take a number of the bags. I got four here, you could probably do uh, five or six easily. And you attach it with just a simple zip tie. And you do it upside down so that when you flip it over, now they're nice and secure. And once you go out and you wanna sell one of these, get your money, slowly pull it off. And you can go to each one of these and sell all that you can. Now, when I saw them carrying these, they probably had close to 50, if not more, actual bags on each of these pieces of PVC. So you can get your, I don't know, pipe. This is about two and a half, three feet long. Get it as long as you want. Carry as many as you can. Well, have fun. If you like martial arts, whether for just the discipline or you actually like to train for it, I have an easy way to make some cheap and easy nunchucks for you. Now this is just three quarter inch PVC. Now you could use three quarter inch or one inch. That seems to work about best for the size. You want it to be about 12 inches long. And then on one side, you want to drill a hole about an inch down, give or take. Now what you do is then feed you some rope through it. And if you notice, the rope comes from the inside. So you have to play around with it. But then tie in night on the rope. And you want to just move the rope around and to, as you see here, you don't see any knots on there because it's nice and down in the hole. Now, if you're trying to do this for a kid, this is actually half inch PVC. And I did the same size and rope, but I got a piece of pool noodle on here. And the great thing about this, it doesn't hurt. Now, if I was to whack myself with this, I'd probably end up with a bruise. So, if you have a child that's learning, maybe a little bit bulky, but it's a lot safer. 
If you've ever been at an event, maybe like a crafting show, and you have a nice canopy set up, well, you need to have something to hold that canopy down. I've done stuff like that, and I've used a five gallon bucket. It works, but it can be a little bulky and get in the way sometimes. On top of that, people are gonna throw their trash in it, and now, well, now you get a nice cleanup you're gonna have to do. I found another way that actually works great. This is a piece of four inch drainage pipe. It is PVC, but it's not your standard schedule 40. This is, you have to go to another section, it is drainage pipe, and as you see, it is much thinner than your standard pipe. You'll also want to look for these caps that are only for the drainage pipe. Now, they're much thinner and a little bit different shape and a lot cheaper than your standard caps that you find for PVC. Well, you want one to go on one end and you want one for the other. But before you put all the caps on, we want to do one more thing. Now, on this side, I have an eye bolt that I have a washer and a nut to hold it nice and flat on the outside. I also have one on the inside so that it stays nice and secure. Now, Right here on the end, you also see a nut held with two washers. And the reason being is that's going to hold this in place. You slide this on one end, then you go get some concrete and you fill this up with concrete. Fill it right up to the top, and then you give it eh, maybe up to a week to dry. Get you your cap, and you can glue it on if you want, but you don't have to. Stick it on there nice and snug. And now you can go hang this eye bolt from your tent and it should securely hold your tent down. You can do this in all four corners and it's a great way to keep it out of the way, but keep your tent nice and secure. I had a number of viewers ask me if I could find a way to mount a drill using some PVC. Well, I did a little research and came up with this. This is just a piece of four inch PVC pipe that I've taken and I've cut. It's about a two inch wide gap all the way down. And so now, you can take your drill and slide it right inside and it'll sit right in there nice and level. So now you take your pipe, drill you a couple more holes, you can now mount it maybe up under your shelf and you can easily store your drill. Now this next project was suggested by one of my viewers named Jonathan. He wanted to make some kind of a bed tent, so to speak, so that he could have whether you want to call it a tent or fort in his room over his bed. And this is what I came up with. Hey, son. This is all three quarter inch PVC. And I have several two foot sections and they're being held together by couplers. You can have a solid four foot piece. That'll work also. Now, up in the corners, I have corner connectors that run to the side. And again, that's roughly four foot across. Now, his is, uh, I believe, a double. And so you're gonna have to adjust your size according to your bed. And all of the corners down here, I'm actually using a 45 degree angle with another short piece that kind of goes down, in this case, into his bed frame so that it stays nice and secure. And as you saw a moment ago, you can take just a standard cheat and throw over it, and your kids, well, if they'll ever wake up, he should enjoy playing in it. <laughs> I've had a number of viewers ask me if I could make some kind of a rear speaker stand for their sound system. Well, this is what I got. On the base here, I'm using all three quarter inch PVC and fittings. I got one, two, three, four elbows and three T's. The center T goes up when I have a three quarter inch pipe going up. On the base, it's probably a good idea once you get everything together to put some sand or something heavy in the base to give it a lot more weight so it'll be more sturdy. Up at the top here, I have a very similar design, except it is actually half inch PVC. And to do that, this middle T goes three quarter inch in and half inch going out. And I chose half inch so it would be a little bit lighter and a little bit, well, less balanced trying to flip the top over. Now, this can twist, you can pivot it this way, and to do design however you'd like to get it to fit in your room. Now, once you have the top and everything ready, get you something that's nice and flat, maybe like a hard piece of cardboard, so that it's balanced up there. Get your speaker, build on top, and there you go. Great little speaker stand for the back of your room. A viewer by the name of Eric Seeger actually came up with this next idea. He has one of these weed eaters that has the ability to come apart and you can add accessories to it to do all different kinds of things. Well, if you just have the accessories sitting around your garage, well, they can get in the way. So, you take a piece of one inch PVC, 
He made a little handle on it with a paracord at the top, and then he drilled a little hole out so that the little metal button that sticks out and holds everything in place can now be used as a hanger. He actually made a video of this showing a little bit more on, on how he made this. I'll put that video link in the description, so make sure you check that out. If you enjoyed these projects, make sure you hit that like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. Also, if you have any ideas of making some stuff with PVC, make sure you include that in the comments too. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future projects. Have fun building.